When the room is dirty, we clean it, and that's it. That wish to have a clean room goes into action, and that works. When we want to have a better relationship, or a relationship, after a period of loneliness, we don't know what to do. For more than a decade now, people come to me and they complain they don't have a relationship for so and so years. Or they have a relationship but it's not working and also the one before was not working. And uh, being both a psychologist and a tantra teacher, I get a lot, a lot of this. It's possibly one of the main issues why people come. People come with a frustration because they really want to do something and they don't know what to do. When you want a better job, you get some education, you work harder, you find a way. When the room is dirty, we clean it, and that's it. That wish to have a clean room goes into action, and that works. When we want to have a better relationship, or a relationship, after a period of loneliness, we don't know what to do. That tremendous wish to have a healthy relationship, to have a loving relationship, a fulfilling relationship, that tremendous wish, once harnessed into an inner transformation, will almost inevitably lead to a happy relationship. But we need to have a few conditions. One, we need to connect to that deep wish that we have for a happy, loving relationship, because that wish is often suppressed. And once we connect to that wish, and we connect to that wish with the hope of having a relationship, once we have hope of having a wonderful relationship, that wish will come and will energize us a lot. So first, to access that energy through hope. And then to have methods of inner transformation to understand these are the things I need to work on. I want to have a loving relationship, but I'm not loving. I want to have a loving relationship, but I'm not good in listening. I want to have a loving relationship, but I'm nasty to the people around me, or I'm so crazy moody, or I want to take more than I want to give. You will never have a happy relationship if you want to take more than you want to give. Forget about it. But after we have the hope and the understanding of what needs to be transformed, we have methods to transform that, to become more loving, to become a better listener, to become more confident, to be more peaceful, to clear out negative tendencies. And some people will never do it just for the sake of transformation. They are not so interested in transformation. But once we have the understanding, the clarity, the discernment, the faith, to understand that once this is transformed, indeed, a loving relationship will be a direct consequence of that. You see, in all my 40-something uh, years, I haven't seen a person that is very loving, that is confident, that is a good listener, that is caring, that wants to give more than they want to take or to receive, that doesn't have a happy relationship, at least generally in life. Maybe here it can be alone a few months here, a few months there. But a person who has these qualities will have a fulfilling relationship and on the other side, I rarely, rarely see, there are some exceptions. People are very nasty, selfish, lacking confidence, lacking love, lacking capacity to listen, and they have a happy relationship. It's only if the universe matches them with some angelic being, and they manage the selfish and the selfless, and they, they click. But this is very rare. So there is something to do. It's not a call for passivity. The fact that we are lonely and we didn't have relationship, fulfilling relationship in some years and all our relationships are not fulfilling. What can I do? It's the other people. No, no, there's a lot to do. And it begins with assuming responsibility and then, to repeat, connect to the energy, that wish for love, and that will give you a lot of power. You connect to it through hope, and then engage that energy into transforming what needs to be transformed using methods, and we give such methods in our courses and, and workshops, and others also give very good methods, and then transform, and then you will see it's inevitable. From relationship to relationship, things get better and better. And in the process, you become a healthy, happy, harmonious person as a consequence, collateral damage that also happens. This is what I have seen and experienced on myself and on so many of our students and clients and so many people that went through this process. We gave numerous, numerous workshops and I don't know how many counseling sessions and it works, but it goes through this. 
process of taking responsibility and inner transformation.